hat today. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Mabu hi. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It all started back in May 2020. <sighs> One of my best friends, Hilario, and I concocted this idea of a photography challenge that we could issue to one another. The idea behind the challenge was to give each other 10 phrases each that we make up from our own little minds and subsequently make photos from the phrases we were given. So we thought up these 10 phrases, gave them to each other, and gave a limited window. It was supposed to be about like a month to three months to complete the photos. And obviously that didn't happen because we are now almost two years later. <laughs> he ended up falling short of the 10 photo goal. I think he hit about six or seven of them. And I personally completed the task at hand, did all 10 within I think a month period or maybe less than that. The part that I failed at was trying to edit this video. <laughs> Life happened, man. So this video is two years in the making and without further ado, here it is. This first photo was based on the phrase, gone now are the days of old. It really is one of my favorite pictures that I took. I knew that I wanted it to be some sort of silhouette of the flower and I thought holding it up against the white background would really increase that contrast and show that silhouette more uh, clearly. All right, moving on to number two. No breath as warm as hers. I think some people think that I can come off as a pretentious guy, but Hilario with some of these phrases, man. <laughs> I'll let them speak for themselves. So the concept here was just to use a lot of orange, an orange background, orange flower, uh, a red bra, all of these type of colors that typically symbolize warmth. And I wanted Maddie to hold up the flower by her mouth to symbolize, I guess symbolize is the only word that I know, in order to, to illustrate, in order to illustrate her breath being warm. In my mind, it feels kind of literal, but maybe, maybe it's not. I like this picture. Three, all roads lead to somewhere. And four, the grass will keep your footprints here. Honestly, in my opinion, these kind of suck. But that's not the fault of Lario. I just feel like I made kind of generic and stale nature photos here. But hey, man, maybe some of y'all out there like it. Not every photo could be a banger. Number five, 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 five. Tranquilizer eyes. I think around May or June is allergy season for a lot of people. And Maddie is not an exception here. So her eyes in this photo look like she had been crying or something, but she was dealing with a bad case of allergies and I took advantage of this. This location that we shot was super, super dope. Uh, I drive by it quite often. It's like five minutes from my place. And I took a couple other photos here in the past. Would be a cool location for a film. Number six, the deeper I go, the less I know. I can summarize my overall feelings about this photo in one word. Meh. I think the depth is cool and the idea is there, but uh, there's nothing exciting here in my opinion. Number seven, minds meander. I had this concept in my mind to do some sort of multiple exposure portrait just to show that your mind is in a bunch of different places at once. So although I had this concept in mind, Maddie helped with the execution and added her own touch. I think she's always been better than me at multiple exposures. It just feels like she sees what the result is and she executes it to a T as opposed to me trying to figure out what I'm doing as I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Number eight, the sun through this window. We have these amazing skylights in our home and I always thought that we could make some sort of nice photo from them. I always wanted to time 
like a bird passing by or a plane passing by or clouds or lightning or something like that but uh i never really took that seriously i guess and i knew as soon as i read this that i wanted to use these windows as the subject uh, i put my hand up while i was taking the photo uh, i thought that added interest in the foreground and overall i just really like this image nine my shoes so funny story i ended up using these orange nike shoes they're i think they're sbs they're like a signature shoe of some skater i don't remember his name but they're cool they're called bruised peaches uh the more you skate in them the more the nike sign wears out and it goes from like the color that it is to more of like a burgundy or a reddish but i ended up giving these shoes away to my cousin jonathan over the summer i just feel like first and foremost he's actually a skateboarder i longboard more so than anything so i wouldn't even be able to scuff them up at all on my longboard unless i fall down and eat dirt <laughs> He ended up checking the resale value on these shoes. I don't know why that's the first thing he did when I gave them to him. <laughs> this guy. And the value of the shoes were around like $600 on resale or something like that, which is quite a bit of money. And you know, I'm not a hype beast by any means necessary. I went into the dime store and I saw these and they just grabbed my attention and I had to go home with them. I had no idea that they were rare or valuable by any stretch of the imagination. But I made a handshake deal with him that if he ever sold the shoes, that I would get at least half of the profits. I love the contrasting colors of this photo. I actually used a blue jacket as the background of the shoes. Uh, I felt like the orange would pop off of those. And I think it's successful. I kind of wish I just nailed the focus a little bit better, but I was shooting at 160 and uh, I had to be wide open and I shot a little bit too close to it so the focus fell off more than I would like it to. I think it's still a dope image so whatever. Number 10. Unusual shapes. So these past two phrases have not been very creative on Hilario's part. My shoes and unusual shapes. <laughs> But they both ended up being some of my favorite photos from this exercise. Maddie suggested this building. The fence mixed with the beautiful shapes of the building itself and the fact that the sun was going down behind it. I think all of these elements together made for a really nice image and I wish I had a little bit more time to take more photos of it. But I think I was running out of shots and the sun was going down quite fast as it does during golden hour. Overall, I think this was a really cool challenge for me. It forced me to look at making images in a different way, do a little bit more pre-production, location scouting. And yeah, it felt more like uh, filmmaking in that way. And that's the way my brain is normally trained for filmmaking, but photographs, I usually take them in more of a documentary way. In general, I love breaking patterns and trying out new things and applying new techniques and exercises into my workflow and my processes, 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 anyways, you know what I mean. It really keeps things fresh, exciting, and truly helps you grow as an artist and an individual. So if you're still watching out there, I encourage you to try out this challenge. Maybe use the same phrases that I did. Maybe take quotes from a famous person you like, a philosopher, Drake. That would be a fun series. I don't think anyone's gonna end up doing this, but if you are that odd person watching that gets inspired by this video, I think it's a worthwhile challenge and a worthwhile endeavor just to get your mind thinking about photos in a different way. Thanks for watching. Peace.